Hey everyone, welcome once more to another very exciting edition. And today we'll be talking on something very important. We'll be orienting and guiding all healthcare professionals who wish to practice in North America. And our focus here is Canada, but there is just a lot of energy. A lot of people feel frustrated. They feel like they can't get into the system to bridge it is hard. Yeah, really nothing is hard. But today we will see on opportunities, you know, six, seven figure jobs at international medical graduate or foreign trained healthcare professionals can hit you know particularly in Canada same applies for the US so we shouldn't be discouraged with all the negativity and the you know vibes that are going out there saying it's hard to match you can get other positions that are out of the clinical practice clinical practice is the ultimate goal but you can have these positions while you're preparing for your clinical practice and it's really really important for you to take into account this and you know just dive into it do your own research and bring out all the potentials that you have so I'm gonna rush you through positions that you could literally have in Canada that could earn you up to five six and seven figure in terms of monthly pay which literally you have extra free time as well in order to take care of your family do the kind of things that you like if you like being a clinical practice that will also give you time to prepare for your clinical practice to sit for the exams and go through that process that sometimes looks a little bit lengthy in terms of you know getting the medical license to practice in north america as a whole either going through the qe1 and um, the nacos key and the language exams or actually going through um the united states medical license exams either the step one step two or the step three so the most important thing that i want you to know here today is there's several um healthcare jobs that we can get so the first one i'm gonna bring right to you is um medical writer a medical writer will create content for a variety of audience including healthcare professionals patients and the general public and you know this will include scientific writing sometimes it's article it is health research it is regulatory documents it's educational material you know medical doctors have an extensive training in the medical field and all this knowledge could bring you know meaning in terms of research in terms of patient care and so medical writing jobs generally will pay somewhere between 60 to 120 thousand dollars us per year i'm um, depending on the experience and the industry that a physician has and you know you don't need to get a license to practice this and there is several websites where you can literally get this from if you go to uh, practice match the practice match is a job board that specializes in physicians and advanced practitioner job opportunities so they have dedicated section for international medical graduate and general people who have had their education abroad you know there's regularly jobs that are readily available on this website the link is in the description box you can follow that out um, and you can literally hit that job and go for an interview and have it it's pretty easy don't consider the negative energy don't consider the stories that people are online saying oh it's so hard to get um, matching in Canada it's so difficult everything in life is difficult that's where life is it's not fair but as a physician you've come a long way and you shouldn't be ready to stop right here while doing this as you know something just to keep yourself self-sustained and keep your family to take care of yourself and not be homeless you can pursue this part way and then you work gradually towards your ultimate goal you build that connection that is necessary because you would meet definitely several physicians pis people who are program heads people who are decision makers in programs that you definitely apply for and then once you get you know that acquaintance and you're working with them the chances that once you become a resident or you apply for your programs it will take you skyrockets it goes right up so i'm gonna tell you out there all the physicians from abroad anywhere in the world who is looking for a part way and getting residency in the united states or in canada not to get discouraged just work at it follow your heart follow that dream and land that position that you've always wanted but while doing that 
there is many other part ways and lobbying and you know talking to people that could literally be very important so number two job that i think that you can apply for and get easily in canada and the united states is the medical science liaison a medical science liaison officer is a non-sales role that you know works as a bridge between pharmaceutical companies and healthcare providers medical science liaison may provide educational resources and clinical support to healthcare providers and they typically have the advanced scientific or medical degrees they would generally hit a paycheck of a hundred to about two hundred dollars per year or even more depending on you know what company they're working for and what experience they have y'all doctors come here you've been working maybe back in your home countries for you know five to ten fifteen years and sometimes twenty twenty five years you've got decades of experience you can put that into the MSL and you can really make a good living out of it while pursuing the pathway again of getting your residency in Canada everything is possible and these jobs you can find them in several places I'm leaving the the links in the description there is this platform that is called med hunters and med hunters is a job board that creates um, you know jobs and it caters for healthcare professionals including international medical graduates so there are a variety of job listings across you know different specialties and different locations and yeah the website is in the description just check it out um, at one particular point in time and find out what is there and you might be very lucky to apply and send you a resume you know you proceed to an interview and who knows you might land that position and while you're in that position you're preparing for you know your licensing and whatever time is going to take you wouldn't have that financial crisis that hectic you know stop that a lot of people a lot of IMGs do have so these are all, um, for sure other opportunities the next one I'm going to talk about is the CRA the CRA is a clinical research associate you know clinical research associates um, are people who work in clinical research settings and they typically will work with pharmaceutical industries, biotech industries, medical doctors. They may, you know, oversee clinical trials, large clinical trials to small scale clinical trials. They might manage data and ensure, you know, regulatory compliance, um, certain requirements, and they're also you know very well paid and this is a very very good position to find yourself at because it helps you a lot in terms of you getting in touch with all these physicians a majority of program heads will be those who are engaged into research because they need funding to run their programs and to run their hospitals and you will be that clinical research associate who's gonna help support them and you're bridging that gap you're coming closer you're building that network you're getting to know people your voice is heard you're seeing people you're sitting on board meetings with people this is very important in terms of you building your career in terms of you just coming in contact with these decision makers who will definitely approve of your residency application because it'll be like oh yeah I know this person and he's very interesting I worked with him on this clinical trial that will also help you know what the research is get a deeper in depth into research because you know physicians are meant to be clinical researchers you might also be very interested in fundamental sciences and fundamental research but clinicians are clinical researchers and so you'll be able to meet a lot of people so this is quite quite an important position that I'll highly advise and you know we could find jobs for this position um, still like on international medical placements and international medical placement IMP is a healthcare staffing agency that specialize in you know finding international medical graduate jobs either in the United States or in Canada and they can help you in terms of placement because sometimes they know a lot of people who are you know in industry they know lots of PIs who have researched they've, they've had grants from either health canada or the nih they're looking to implement this they're, they're looking for people to support your study your clinical background is very very important you don't need no license you don't need nothing you just need yourself which is your brain you just need you literally put that cv out there and you know 
check this link out it's it's in the description and it will give you all the information that you need and the people that you have to contact and it's very very necessary shoot us an email if you want and we can see how we could help you with this um yeah and that will be very important number four thing that um you know for entry in healthcare professionals could do could be medical device sales representative and these people are really really very vital um, in terms of you know being sell representatives of small medical devices and equipment in the healthcare provider who knows you might like it you might fall in love you might become a developer you might become a medical ent entrepreneur which is something that I'll bring up on this um, platform from time and time because um, you know doctors are creators doctors are great thinkers and great thinkers are meant to be creators and creators solve societal problems doctors participate in healing patients so they solve societal problems so working as a sales representative for a medical device company so you will be responsible you know to do either small or large support for manufacturing of you know medical devices you might support startups you might create a startup yourself and salaries are usually pretty good as well you know it can range from 70 to 150 thousand dollars annually us and even more depending on the experience that you have and the kind of companies that you're working with this is really really cool and i really think that international medical graduates can you know be a part of all this system build the system and you know gain their living out of it other things that international medical graduate could do could be business development um, managers or medical business development programs business development roles in healthcare can include you know identifying new business opportunities in terms of you know business in a medical field in medical industries your clinicians you've been practicing medicine you know what is lagging you know the trouble that you've always been having in your clinical practice and so you could propose it as a you know for a device to be built for a a software to be built for a solution to be built in terms of fixing that particular puzzle at that particular huddle that you've had while practicing as a physician and that will be very welcome by startups and you will generally end somewhere from you know a hundred thousand dollars us per year to about you know 250 depending on what company what experience and what industry you're working out so i want to indulge all uh, foreign trained healthcare professionals whether it be it nurses laboratory technicians physicians specialists whatever your field might be you're really your services are needed in north america and canada particularly and don't feel discouraged especially in canada that you know the opportunities are slim it's hard to get there's a lot of negativity out there but you're always different in terms of what you're doing and I'll advise you to, you know, hold in tight there. Do not get discouraged, hold tight to it, follow this website that I've put in the description, submit that CV and then wait for it. That is a job that we have to do. And it's pretty easy. So if you wanna know more and you wanna get a lot of updates again on this information, please stay tuned. Also, don't forget to like, share and comment on this video. And we'll see you in the next one.